Well, hey guys, this is Piffy Guy, and I'm back with another Around the Home video. And this time, I'm just going to quickly talk about planting um, in the garden barrel here. So I filled it up with the uh, the mix. I really soaked this down and let it compress, and I added a little bit more mix on top, just to um, you know deal with compaction because this uh, Mel's mix will compact. As you can see here, hopefully, I got a little bit of drips coming out the bottom here. So I've thoroughly saturated this, and I've already planted in all my uh, lettuce. So what I did here is uh, I started at one pocket and I just poked a hole in, like I did up here. I just poked a hole into the mix. And uh, I actually did them kind of spiral. And then, so I did like, uh, oops, in the shadow here. So I did like endive here, and I had some butter crunch lettuce going that way and some Reuben red going that way. So that would look nice. Once it was done planted in there, I came back and I just tossed some fresh compost just on top to fill in where the soil may have got a little compact. As you can see here, that I might need to add just a little compost on top. And then I sprayed it with a mister of the uh, of the hose as opposed to the uh, you know the shower, just to try to get a little bit of water seeds and uh, you know get them to start rolling. So up here on top, I've got four holes, and I'm going to plant two spinach and two dwarf Siberian kale. So you can see here, this is the uh, the spinach seeds that I got from my buddy as part of our little seed swap. And I'm just gonna take three or four of the seeds and put them in the hole and cover it up. And that's pretty much about it. All right, so I planted a spinach here, a spinach here, and I got a kale here and a kale here. And I mean, quite literally, I just poked the hole, dropped the seeds in, you're done. Nature knows what to do on this. Just give it a little bit of water and uh, you know you should be good to go. If you have a good soil mix inside this garden barrel, then you should do okay as far as drying out. I'm gonna make sure that I come down and miss this every morning and make sure I got some good you know, saturation in there and we'll see what happens. Now I'd only planted um, two spinach at the top and two kale because they're pretty large plants. Um, once the summer comes around, most of my lettuce on here will probably die off and I'll have to replant something else and I'll figure out what to do at that point in time. But there you go, I mean, it's pretty simple. So I got all my seeds at uh, Baker Creek Seed Company, which is uh, rareseeds.com, and uh, you don't need a whole lot. I mean, I bought one pack for a buck of lettuce and I got the starts going, and then I, I have, uh, you know, I put in all the, uh, the lettuce in here, so I've got, you know, about 45 lettuce plants and endive planted in here, and so that should keep me going for a while. So anyway, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post them below. And I certainly appreciate you guys watching and encourage you to get out and start doing some gardening and grow your own food.